right guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be doing uh, some alignment measurements. We're not actually gonna align it, but I'm gonna show you how to take some of the uh, basic measurements on this uh, Class A International. Um, it is a dual tandem axle truck, so let's just uh, take a couple. So the first thing you do when you have your measuring alignments is, the first, well, in doing alignment in general, you always gotta get your front end aligned first so you can match the back end to the front end. So I'm gonna show you first how to measure toe, then camber, and then caster. So the first measurement we're gonna take is for our toe. So toe is essentially, so here's our tire. So if this, if my hand is our tire, the toe is essentially how far it's going this way and that way. Going outwards towards the road would be toe out. Going inwards, that'd be toe in. So how I take that measurement, in a simple way, is I, so this tread mark marks the center of my tire. And it, I measured it on both sides from the floor up with a tape measure so that they were on the exact same spot. If you look over there, there's a, a mark exactly the same tire. Then I used the tip of my pen and I marked out the center of my chalk mark. So what I do from there is I grab a buddy and I throw the tape measure out to him and we'd measure from the center of that, that mark to the center of this mark. And then I do the same thing on the back side of the tires where I've also got marks. I do the center of that mark to the center of that mark. And the difference would be what my toe is, whether it be toe out or toe in. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to measure the caster, which is essentially how far, like in which angle the axle is rolled. So in what, in relevance to the engine, how far back or forward the tire is sitting. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a digital protractor. I'm gonna turn that guy on. Okay, switch hands real quick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set him on the frame because at the frame, should be true. Let's get that to, let's get where I got better lighting so y'all can re read. Okay, I've got that sitting on there. I'm gonna hold it flat as I can. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and zero it out. Okay, so we're zero. Then I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna come in here where I've got not the best lighting. I'm gonna set it right here on the top of the kingpin. You know, find a place where I can actually get a measurement. I'm gonna set it on there. I'm gonna hold pressure on it to make sure that it stays flat. And I'm gonna hit hold. And I'm gonna hold it there. And you, if you can't really see it, but right there, it's flashing the, the word hold. When that goes steady, that means that my measurement's held. So, right now I've got 7.9 degrees of positive caster. If it was negative, it would show a different symbol over here off to the side. It would show that it's negative. But right now, so that on this side, would be 7.9 degrees. And I would just do the same thing for the other side to measure the caster on that side and compare the two together. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to measure the camber. So the camber of a tire, if we're looking at the tire, or let's look at it head on. If we're looking at the tire, oh. The camber is gonna be how much it's leaning this way, side to side. So remember we had toe this way, and the caster was this. So camber is gonna be like this. The camera is really easy to measure, so we're going to grab our digital protractor again, and we're just going to set it on the ground. We're going to try to keep the same plane going. So we got there, put a little pressure on there to make sure she's flush, zero it out. Oh, got to take it off hold. Zero it out. Okay, zeroed. And now we're going to take this point on the rim, and we're going to hold it right there on the rim. Again, putting pressure, we're going to hit hold. I'm gonna let it do a little blinky thing. Okay, so now it's held. Okay, so it gave us 90 degrees. So what we take from that 90 degrees is we would, so what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to take what we get and subtract it from 90. So 90 degrees being a straight angle, so a straight angle being as if we had a, if we had a speed square right here, we could see a, a straight 90 degree angle. So now that we have 90, that means that we would have zero degrees of camber. All right, so now that we've got our pre-alignment check done in the front, now I'm gonna show you how to do some measurements in the back. So the first thing I'd measure would be the axle offset and how centered it is. So what I do is I don't have it over here, we'll just take it, but I grab a piece of angle iron like I have right there, and I'd actually have someone hold it right here flush against the frame. And I would just see how far out the highest, the furthest part of the tire is from there. And then I'd do the same thing on this side. 
to see how far I am. And that will actually, and then if you subtract those two numbers, you'll be able to see how centered your axle actually is. So last but not least, the last measurement I'm gonna show you is how to measure the thrust of your rear axle. So essentially when I'm measuring the thrust, I'm trying to see how far, you know, if the, if the uh, axles are actually cocked. So the first thing I do is I get this, I got a, about a nine foot piece of angle iron right here. And you can see I've got it clamped down. So I've got, I didn't just grab a piece of angle iron and clamp it. I actually measured it off from the in, from the outside, or actually, I'm sorry, I went from the inside of the frame right here and the distance between, between here and here and vice versa on the other side are the exact same. And then I grabbed a, uh, a speed square and I actually put it at an exact 90. So this is actually perfectly true and straight to the frame and it's equal distance from each other. And you'll see why that's important in a second. So then what I did is I measured the entire height of the tire, which was about 40 inches, and then I made a center mark right here. So that marks my center. So what I do now is I put my tape measure, I start right there, right there on, the, on that mark, and then I'm gonna find a, a, a similar mark on the angle iron, and I take my measurement there. And I do the exact same thing on the other side, and, the dis and then subtract those two numbers, and the difference would be my thrust. And I do the same thing for the back tires. I'd use that same piece of angle iron. I see I've got my mark right there. I'd go from here, measure to a point on the angle iron, go on the opposite side, measure at the same point on the angle iron, and then I would have my thrust. All right, guys, thanks for watching another video. Don't forget, um, it was just a few basic measurements. Remember, we got our toe, camber, and then caster. Not hard to measure. I mean, all you really need is a piece of chalk, a piece of angle iron, a clamp, tape measure, and a digital protractor. And uh, you can easily make all those measurements. So uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, always wear your seatbelt, drink lots of milk, and don't talk to strangers. Have a good one.